Oh my god! just making sure she was all right. I waited, baby. I waited a whole two hours for you to wake up. But like any good wife would, I stood by your side. You're my wife? Of course I am. Why would you ask that? I'm sorry, but I don't know who you are. I can't remember anything. Doctor, what is he saying? I fear this may happen. You see, Mrs. Price, I'm afraid your husband has. Amnesia. I would like to speak to your husband alone. If you wouldn't mind staying in the waiting room, I feel that this situation needs to be handled with the utmost care. No, I won't leave my husband. Mrs. Price, this matter is urgent. You son of a... Samantha, please. I'll be right outside, baby. Here are the results, Dr. Chad. Ah, excellent. Wait, that was my wife. You're a very lucky man, Mr. Price. Not only because of your sexy, sexy wife, uh, but because of your miraculous recovery. Now, Mr. Price, before I go on, I need to ask you if you remember anything about your past life. No, nothing. I don't remember a thing. What about your wife, Samantha? Do you remember anything about her? No, I don't even remember my own name. This place, though, I feel like I've been here before. It's perfectly understandable. After all, this is your 96th visit to our hospital. But, Doctor, can you explain to me how I got here? Well, according to these x-rays, you're suffering from severe trauma to the brain caused by amnesia. You see, after falling from your apartment balcony, you were comatose for nearly 14 hours. Oh, I fell off a balcony. Well, police are investigating the matter. You know, to see whether or not you were accidentally or intentionally pushed. But so far, police are working with very little evidence. Wait, you're saying someone tried to kill me? Yes, I know, it's quite a lot to process. But right now, the important thing is to make sure you get rest and drink plenty of fluids. I need to discuss a few things with Samantha. Right now, the nurse will take care of any requests you wish to make. Make sure you stay hydrated. Oh, and 
Andrew. Who's Andrew? Is that my name? Andy, my love. I've been so worried. Ow! Bastard! How could you leave me like this? I'll leave you? I was just in a coma. You said we were going to run away together, and then you got married. Did you forget about our child? A child? Jesus Christ! Is that mine? Yes, of course it is. Probably. I'm sorry, but I've got to get out of here. But I forgive you. And I know that there's a way we can be together forever. Be together soon, my love. Sorry about that. Keeps getting stuck like that lately. That's quite all right. Say, nurse, could you give us a moment? I wish to speak to my brother privately. Certainly, Mr. Price. Andrew! Man, was I worried about you. I mean, we've been through some rough times together. This, this takes the cake. Look, I'm sorry, I don't know who you are. Ah, say! How about you let your baby brother pour your drink? Listen. If you really are my baby brother, then you have to help me get out of here. You know, it's funny. If you hadn't woken up from your coma, I would have been a very wealthy, wealthy man. You see, it was very generous of Father to leave everything in his will to you. <laughs> but I digress. It would be a shame if my big, handsome, successful brother were to leave us so soon. Wait, what was that? What was what? That stuff you just put in my drink? Don't know what you're talking about, Andrew. Look, you poured me a glass of scotch and then you put in some poisonous looking sh Man, you need to chill out. All right, here. Drink up. Wait, what the f Drink up, my brother. Doctor's orders. Oh, Jesus Christ, what is this place? Is this meant to be some kind of a hospital or a...
apple juice. Still watching those daily soaps, huh? Hi, sunshine. Hi, baby. I'm so glad you're back. Me too, sunshine. <laughs> 